Let's now look at the three Max for Live device types that are available in Ableton Live. You can access all the Max for Live devices by clicking here. So you can see the three device types, Max Audio Effect, Max Instrument, and Max MIDI Effect. If you click on the triangle here, you will see all the available devices that come with Live and any that you have created yourself. The very first in the list is a blank Max MIDI Effect device. Let's click and drag that onto a MIDI track. And the blank MIDI effect is loaded in the devices area here. Okay, I'm going to delete that. What if I try to drag that MIDI effect on an audio track? Live will not let you do this as clearly audio tracks don't deal with MIDI. So you see the no entry sign there. Okay, now the Max instrument also has a bunch of devices that come pre installed, but let's use the default blank one here. So I can drop it on a MIDI track but you will see that the track metering changes from MIDI activity to audio meters. And of course the device shows up here. The one unique thing here is that the device accepts MIDI data, but outputs audio data. And that's how instrument tracks work anyway. Okay, I'll get rid of that as well. Now I clearly won't be able to use this on an audio track, as the instrument requires MIDI to work. Okay, and lastly the max audio effect. This will clearly work on the audio track. but will also work on a MIDI track. The meters change to audio meters, and the audio effect is placed in front of where the instrument device would go. So it's assuming you're planning on using an instrument to generate audio, and then process that with the max audio effect. So we can just add any instrument in here. I'll add Collision. So now MIDI will be received by Collision, and audio will be generated, which will then be processed by the max audio effect. Cool, so that's how the three device types work. Okay, in addition to all the pre-installed devices, you can get more by clicking here, which should take you to your account on Ableton's website. Most of these are not Max for Live related packs, but this is still the beta version, so they should probably add a section for Max for Live eventually. But they will most probably be paid packs. Another thing, in the preferences and in the file folder area, make sure Max 6 is selected. It should be set by default, but let's say if you were on Live 8, it would probably be set to the Max 5 folder. Also, you can get the latest version of Max by clicking here, and it should start downloading on its own. So that's a little bit about the different types of devices that are available within the Max for Life category.